What's up, everybody? This is the Force of Nature Spiritual Awakening, and today we will be discussing placements that can make someone a villain or extremely dangerous. So you may know somebody that has a couple of these placements. You may have a couple of these placements yourself. You know, um, don't get too crazy if you have a few, but if you have a lot, more than a few, okay, you would be considered someone that is a villain, um, that is a villain, <laughs> or extremely dangerous, period. All right, so jump into it right now is what we're going to do. Mercury and Gemini. Mercury in the third house. Mercury trying Jupiter. Mercury sectile Jupiter. Sun conjunct Jupiter. Mercury in Virgo. Mercury in the sixth house. Mercury in Aquarius. Mercury in the 11th house. Pallas, positively aspected. Pallas is asteroids. If anybody does not know that, that's what it is. You can find it actually in the birth chart. Okay. Um, it's like close to Ceres, Juno, things like that. You could, you could find it. Okay. So if Pallas is positively aspected, Pallas in Gemini, Pallas in the third house, Pallas in Virgo, Pallas in the sixth house, Pallas in Aquarius, Pallas in the 11th house, Pallas in the first house, or Pallas in Aries. Pallas conjunct sectile or trine Jupiter. Sun in Leo, Sun in the fifth house, Sun in Scorpio, Sun in the eighth house, Sun in Capricorn, Sun in the tenth house, Sun in Gemini, Sun in the third house, Sun in Aries, Sun in the first house, North Node conjunct Mars, North Node squared Mars. North Node opposite Mars, North Node conjunct Pluto, North Node squared Pluto, North Node opposite Pluto, Moon in Scorpio, Moon in the eighth house, Moon in Leo, Moon in the fifth house, Moon in Aries, Moon in the first house, Venus in Scorpio, Venus in the eighth house, Mars in Cancer. Mars in the fourth house, Mars in Pisces, Mars in the twelfth house, Mars square Pluto, Mars opposite Pluto, Venus conjunct Pluto, Venus square Pluto, Venus opposite Pluto, run it back, Mars conjunct Pluto, Pisces rising, Libra rising, Cancer rising, Aquarius rising, Sagittarius rising, Capricorn stellium, 10th house stellium, Taurus stellium, Virgo stellium, Capricorn stellium, Leo stellium, 2nd house stellium, 6th house stellium, 10th house stellium, 5th house stellium, Mercury in Scorpio, Mercury in the 8th house, Juno in the 10th house, Juno in Capricorn, Juno in Scorpio, Juno in the 8th house, Venus in the 10th house, Venus in Capricorn, Venus conjunct the MC, Venus conjunct the Midhaven. That's what the MC is. For anybody that doesn't know what the MC is, it is the Midhaven. So this would be Venus conjunct Midhaven. Venus at two degrees. All right, what else? Moon in Gemini, Moon in the third house, Juno in the first house, Juno in Aries, Juno in Gemini. Juno in the third house. And I'm going to leave this on this note for now. In future videos to come, I will go more into depth into this topic. Anybody want to get their track analyzed, please hit me up. Anybody want to donate to the channel, please feel free. I appreciate everybody that's been logging on, tuning in, liking, subscribing. 
I appreciate it. So this is a force of nature, spiritual awakening. Love is love. Peace and blessings to you all. And I will see you on the next one.